No one here either. Don't you worry now, Pete. We're here for you. Your father's on his way up. Said he'd like a word too. Such a big boy now. What happened today, it's not your fault. I just want you to know that. These boys, well, I bet they're just trying to make you feel small because they're feeling small inside. But don't you listen to them, all right? All right. Here he is. You sleep well. What do you say we carry on with making that rabbit hutch tomorrow, eh? That'd be nice. Still awake? He is. No more tears, eh? No, no, he's... he's settled. Go on, it's all right, we'll be fine. Well, if you're sure... Good night, Pete. Night. gonna do with you your mother won't like me saying this but it's true you've got to learn to stand up for yourself next time you hit them back you hear me an eye for an eye that's what I've always said Better still, if you see it coming, you get in there first. I know it sounds hard, but life's hard. Best to learn that now rather than later, eh? day tomorrow. So not another peep, all right? Good boy. See you in the morning. No more tears. Get to everyone. 
Your name is weak. You'll make it worse for him. If you're talking about come up with, he should be the one dealing it out. He's not like that, Grace. He likes his books. He likes taking care of things. How old kids tell him like that? He'll just grow out of it. He'll grow soft. He just hasn't learned yet. That's all. I learned it. My father taught me. And now it's my job as a father. Well, my job as a mother is to care for my son. Boys need discipline, I Boys? Boys? Who are these boys? Every boy? I'm talking about Pete. He is disciplined. Look at how he's breathing. Oh, yeah. Do his national service. Get some sense not to do it. Then you look beyond me, national service, when it's time for order. I know you feel you've stepped during the war. Don't force that on him. Wait, sir. It's nothing. Anything. No, it's not nothing. Red, don't! What the hell are you doing out of bed? I wasn't. Don't lie to me, Peter. What did I say? What did I say before I left? No more tears. And no more sound, I says. So why are you disobeying me, eh? You are in serious trouble tomorrow! Good night, Pete. Sorry. Nothing. Damn kettle's hot, that's all. Watch out. Hmm. You all right? What's that? Oh, yes. Um, have you got the tea on? Ah, water's boiling. Hope there's enough. Well, don't worry about me. Just make sure you have what you need. So you don't want any tea? Look, it's fine. Nothing. Are you sure? It doesn't sound like nothing. Come in, Clara. Do you read me? Look, I'm sorry about last night. I... I didn't mean for you to have to sleep on the sofa. Oh. Oh. Don't mention it. It's a... It's a very comfy sofa. Oh, um... I'm glad. I thought you'd be annoyed. It's not the same for us, is it? What, what do you mean? I know what, what most of the men at Cambridge are like. They can take home whoever they like and they can tell all their friends about it afterwards. Like, they just get a slap on the back and a well done old chap. For us, it's, it's different. If you don't keep quiet about it like Molly doesn't, then you hurt a girl with a reputation. 
All right, look, it's it's early. I'll get us some breakfast in a bit, shall I? <sighs> that sounds nice. It didn't have anything to do with you, that's what I mean. Not just me, you mean? <laughs> All right, I'm generalizing. It's just, I suppose I've had friends at school, um, girlfriends who play into this whole thing too, the whole parade of it. And understand my interest in science. I thought I was a bit weird. Well, their loss. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just in an odd frame of mind. I, I thought the work might help keep my head straight. I can take over this if you want to rest. No, no, I, I like it. I'm enjoying it, really. I want this to be good. That's one thing I definitely got from my father. It's Perfectionism, for better or worse. Hard to live up to. Well, it's good to be ambitious, and what's this if it's not ambitious? Speaking of which, there's something I noticed. Show me. I've just looked at the latest batch of atmospheric radiation readings. Don't worry, everything seems to be moving in ways we're expecting. It's, it's all consistent, it's just... It's just consistently higher, too, compared to the ones we took a few months ago. He's got new equipment, maybe? That would explain why everything's jumped at once. Well, I'll double-check everything again now. It's just something I noticed as I glanced over them. It'll be good for me to focus on something like this anyway. Get my head down. Just take care of yourself. Oh, don't worry about me. Look, why don't you look around? There's plenty of books to read. Oh. Why not? If you're sure. Oh, well, look at this. Oh, that whole thing. Feel free to put something on. Sorry, there's not a lot of choice. We didn't own much music.
Still around. You know, Cambridge, the whole thing. Does that make me a terrible... Floyd, Floyd, can you hear me? You're safe. Where are you? You didn't run into any Soviets then. I'm guessing you found the Norwegians. Tell me they've got a doctor, mate. This leg is killing me. Floyd, the base I'm at. It's not Norwegian. It's Soviet. Can you repeat that? This is a Soviet base. No. No, no, no. Wait. How are you getting this message out then? Have you been captured? No, no, I'm fine, Floyd. I, I, I don't think there's anyone here either. It's freezing. Everything was powered down. I, I, I think I just had to restart the generator again. I don't understand. Are we way off course? No, no, it makes no sense. You followed the map, right? I just followed my instincts. But there's another map here. Has it explained anything? Might be the Norwegian base. Yes, I, yes, I can see it. I can see the flag. Ah, oh, well, at least I'm not going crazy. And at least you haven't been attacked yourself. What's the terrain like? Is it a straight shot? It looks like it's between two mountains, on the other side of a bay. There's a ship marked on there too. Christ. Well, if there's a ship, at least that means the base is pretty well supplied. There's something else on the map. Some area shaded out past the mountains. What does that mean? Is it dangerous? I don't know, mate. It could be anything. Floyd, I, I can see if I can find some medicine for you. Bring it back to you. No, 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 Peter. That makes no sense. We'd still be stuck out here. 
I haven't been able to raise anyone on the radio. Our only hope is for you to find a friendly out there. You need help, Floyd. We don't have any option. Peter, I'll be honest with you. If you come back here now, we might not make it. Do you understand? I don't. It's better, better being there to help you. What if I run out of fuel on the way to the Norwegians? So you drive as far as you can and then you get out and walk, Peter. That's insane. If you could see this map, you'd know how insane it was. Look, get it together. This is it. I don't like it any more than you do, but you're a grown man, Peter. If you don't do this, we're both done for. You hear me? We are dead. Peter, are you there? I'm here, all right? All right, I'll, I'll go, I'll go. Ah, good man. Good man, you can do it. Now you know where you're going. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm heading for those two mountains, and it's, um, it's the other side of the bay, past that. Right. And did you say there was a ship? Yes, yes, a ship on the other side of the bay. Mountains, bay, ship, say it back to me. Mountains. Bay. Ship. Right you are. I'll save the flares for when you're on your way back, all right? Mate, we'll have a little party. <laughs> Let's get out of here first. You just hang on, all right? I will, mate, I will. I'll try and catch some entertainment on the radio. Some of those beeps, maybe. You heard any of that? Yes. Yes, I can pick it up here, too. No idea what it is. No better way to piss off a stranded pilot, though, I'll tell you that. Good luck, mate. Right, let's see if we can solve this. Cryptic one this time. T two down, eight letters, begins with U. Builder goes mad during door removal. Unhinged? Ah, now I'm pleased I took the lift with you. U-N-hinged. You sure you wouldn't be happier in the English department? It's the only reason I buy these things now. Although, there was that one story I wanted to read. Can you believe it? About that Molly girl. I haven't heard anything about the story. Oh. Now you've been away in Scotland again, haven't you? Lucky you. The lecturer, Molly Shanahan. Got taken away yesterday on campus. It was a right stir outside college. Black cars blocking the road. Plain clothes police, or so it looked. Photographs here on page two. I know her. She's the, the, the one that wears the red jacket. Well, I don't know about that. This one could be red. Bit of a giveaway if it was. <laughs> you know her. She's a friend. Well, uh, a friend of a friend. <clears throat> Good Lord. 
You're not mixed up in all this, eh? I don't know what all this is. Can you read it? It says here she's rumoured to have links with the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. <clears throat> Miss Shanahan, lecturer at Newhall College, Cambridge, was known to be associated with the CND and other anti-nuclear weapons organisations, all of which have come under suspicion since the marches on Whitehall earlier this year. She has been charged with handling data sensitive to Her Majesty's government and passing that data to contacts in Moscow. You don't believe that, do you? Doesn't really matter what I believe, does it? It's going to make the professor jumpy. Not the reason he wanted the university in the papers. Questions remain over whether she was working alone and how the university dealing with the fallout. The same as usual, I suppose. Just carry on. Molly and Clara were good friends. I hope this won't come back on her. Oh, so Clara's that uh, friend you mentioned then? She is. Should be worried sick. Look, despite all this newspaper talk, it's only questioning. I wouldn't get too worked up about it. Only questioning? I wouldn't want to go through that, would you? Well, of course I hate to see it, but you know, nothing to do with us, old chap. You're right. You're right. We'll blow over soon, I'm sure. I wouldn't be so sure. What if this is just the start? All right, let's take another look at this one. Four across, nine letters, begins with T. Oh, this is what I am when you're driving. Rhymes would verify it. Okay, I get the message. Just gonna write that one down. If I should live longer. No, no, keep going. No, come on. Technology, it weighs a ton. Come on, you can do it. I know. It's just what I could cobble together with a meager budget. I just wanted to make sure that if I was carrying the kitchen sink, it was a scientifically useful kitchen sink. I've been meaning to tell you, I, I heard from Molly just before we left. I, I hadn't heard anything since she was arrested. Me neither until now. Well, it's been awful, as you'd expect. Arrested and questioned like that for so long. She sounded a bit shaken. Didn't sound like her at all. So is, is she still under arrest? Well, that's what she was calling about. She was being released without charge. How do you feel about it? Well, it's better than her still being locked up, that's for certain, but something was a little off about it. You suspect something's going on? Foul play? Something must be going on, but I can't put my finger on it. She wasn't being very clear. She wasn't sure if she wants to come back to college. I, I don't know when I'll see her again. Oh, I'm, I'm sure she'll be back. Hmm. It's just... I hope it doesn't ruin things. Her academic career, everything, you know? So many people think that where there's smoke, there's fire. It's bloody unfair. You don't know she's not coming back? No, but I know there are people who'd much rather she didn't. Wouldn't like to be in her shoes, that's for sure. This Cold War suddenly feels a bit real, doesn't it?
Hello. Hello. <laughs> Shall I send it up? On the count of three. One. Too late. I'll never tire of doing that. Taken all your readings? I've just completed mine for the day. Oh, very efficient. I'd expect nothing less. Oh, well, you know me. Ready for the walk back? Absolutely. Absolutely. Although, there's something I want you to see first. Sounds intriguing. Follow me, you'll see. Fancy we climb. You can make it up there. I can. Can you? Come on. Together we can make it to the top. Here. Put one hand here, it'll help you up. Oh, if I can do this as a girl, I can do it again now. Your parents allowed you to climb this. They didn't know. My brother took me. Those readings, Peter. I've been wanting to talk to you about them. Are they consistent with what they've been reporting in South America? They're not as high, but they're high. Oh, your equations still work. It doesn't disprove the model. We can still plot the paths of the air currents. But still, something's not right. What is it? The white-tailed eagle. I haven't seen one in years. Amazing things. It's caught something. This is special. I thought they were extinct, poisoned by pesticides. Beautiful things. Ah, a new life, eh? I wonder if we'll see anything like that again. I wonder where it came from. It makes me think, wh where did it come from? I mean, the extra radiation. Where did that come from? Are you sure it's not a quirk of all this new equipment? All the instruments can't be giving inflated readings. Oh, come on. Take my hand. There you go. Right. Right. Let's try and work it out. Right, so, what do we know? We know the readings are at their highest down in the Southern Hemisphere. And not as high here, up north. Right. Uh, it's being dispersed over time. That would make sense. Well, it's, it's heading from the south up to the north. Yes.
Your model of the air currents. That would prove that's what's happening, that there's this general movement north. I think we need to find out where this radiation came from in the first place. We've been running the model forwards all this time, but our starting point has always been South America. I, I could look again at the model, perhaps. Run it differently, you mean? Run it backwards. See where these air currents originate. The radiation has to be coming from somewhere. Somewhere further south. South of the Antarctic Circle, maybe? I don't know. Wha whatever this is, people are going to want to hear about it. I hope so. I think we might be onto something. This is bigger than just clouds, you mean? <laughs> bigger than clouds! Although I know you can't believe such a thing. Well, I might, given the chance. It might be what this paper is meant to be about. Beautiful thing. It would be. If you wanted to do it. It would change the whole focus of the paper. You might be needing some help. Would you like to help me with it? Writing it? Well, of course. It could be that beautiful subject I was talking about. Oh, so now it's yours, is it? <laughs> Of course not. Well, it could be ours, though. This beautiful thing. If you wanted it to be. Come here. to those trees down there. No chance. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <sighs> Here it comes. If it hits us, you could take my jacket. Promise me that? Promise you that. Let's go then.
this isn't the way back, is it? I know another way around. Don't worry. We'll get less wet. Wait! <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? This? No! I mean the new idea, the paper. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's great. It's great, really. Finally. So much better at night, don't you think? Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I saw them setting up this afternoon. It was all chaos and scaffolding, but, but now it's more, oh, I don't know, um, exciting, I suppose. <laughs> Not just all that. This. This. You realize this is a big occasion, don't you? It's the first time you've taken me out, Dr. Hamilton. No. <laughs> At night, in public, not working, not hiding away anywhere. We're out courting. <laughs> <laughs> Cuddly toy? Oh, you know me so well. Go on then, boys and their toys. Watch this. Good grief, what are you doing? As you said, <clears throat> courting. Are you now? Ten shots, sir. There you go. Knock down all the cans, the bear's yours. Or more likely yours. I think this one's more for him. You're about to be very impressed. And you have good aim, do you, my knight in shining armor? Absolutely. <clears throat> Absolutely. Well, I, I always thought I'd be good in the army. If only books hadn't gotten in the way. Go on then, prove yourself, army man. Well now, maybe I had you all wrong. You really don't need to prove anything. That's it, my lad. Only another five of them. We'll make a soldier of you yet, Pete, my boy. Now what's he up to, cheeky little bugger? Spoiling our game. Go on, see if you can get him. That's, uh, that's enough, I think. What's the matter, Peter? <clears throat> I'm fine. <sighs> Clara?
Radiation. My God, what's going on here? any fuel. I've, I've walked all this way. Are you all right, Peter? Where are you? I'm alive. I'm just, I'm just very cold. I don't know. I don't know what this place is. It, it, it wasn't on the map. Another base. Uh, lots of, lots of big machines. There were lots at the fun fair. Uh, Clara was there. What the hell? Mate, are you keeping it together? Yeah, no, there, no, there was no one. Just just a mine. Uh, a radioactive symbol. A mine? God, where the hell are we? Can you see anything else? Floyd, Floyd, I can see the ship at last. <laughs> Uh, mountains, bay, ship, like we said. You can see it? You can see I can. I, I, I can see it on the far side of the water. And there's a, a boat, a small boat on this side. Okay, so that's something. Do you think you can use it to get across? It might just kill me, but what else can I do? Except stay here. Yeah, and that'll kill you too. You don't want to give up this close to the finish line. I'm counting on you. We're not going to die out here. You can count on me. Peter, please. Please listen to me. You know where you are now. This is the last push. You've made it this far. I know you can do it. Hello? I'm here, I can do it. I just need to warm up. No, no, no. If you hang around, we've got a problem, mate. There's a, there's a storm coming your way. I know because I'm in the thick of it now. You don't want to get caught out on the water when the weather hits. Look, I know you're tired, Peter. But if you don't get moving now, you'll never cross the water. Who knows when the storm will clear? You've got to leave now. It's all I've got, Floyd. You know that. I'm giving it everything. You have to. Please, Peter. I don't want to die here. 
All right. All right. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. I'm ready. Go on, mate. Go. Get out of there. Go on. Thank you.